Doug, how are Georgians, uh, Georgia's delegates feeling about the switch from President Joe Biden to Vice President Harris? Well, welcome to night one of the Democratic National Convention here in Chicago. I think delegates are very excited for what is to come here with a brand new ticket. Of course, this is a very different year because we had that massive shakeup where President Joe Biden handed off the reins of this campaign to Vice President Kamala Harris just a few weeks after that really disastrous debate performance in our city of Atlanta. So we got a chance to speak to a couple of delegates uh, before they came here to the convention hall today to just see how they're feeling about that switch up uh, and the Roll call vote is actually scheduled for tomorrow. A lot of them very excited for it. It's going to be mostly for show as these delegates already took virtual roll calls to confirm Harris as the nominee and Waltz as her running mate. And even some of the ticket's youngest supporters like Georgia delegate Nico Parra, who is from Gwinnett County and just 20 years old, he's going to be voting this year in his first presidential election. They are feeling good about the ticket. I, I am excited. I really am excited. Um, the fact is that this is my very first Democratic convention ever. Um, this is actually the first presidential race that I'm eligible to vote in. And so for me, the fact is that I'm voting in a historic candidate is amazing. It, it's a fact that's not lost on me, right, as well as it's not lost on many of my other peers who are also representing the young Democrats of Georgia. Young voters really are the lifeblood of this Democratic campaign, so they need to make sure that they are keeping them happy. And if you remember, this convention was almost held in Atlanta. It came right down to the wire for us. They ended up picking Chicago instead. So coming up at 6, we're going to talk about some of the plus sides of holding this convention here in the Midwest. We'll see you then for now. We are from the United Center in Chicago. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.